And we're here at the ID Tech X show. And hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Martin. Um, I am the CEO of uh, Vita 3D Printing. Um, and we develop uh, high performance extrusion systems for FDM printing. So, what are, what are we looking at here? Um, well, we're looking at uh, just a standard object uh, from Thingiverse. But what we're demonstrating here is how fast we can extrude the material. Um, a conventional printer can do about uh, 10 to 20 cubic millimeters a second maximum. Um, we uh, do a, a maximum of 130 cubic millimeters a second with a one millimeter nozzle. So you can imagine that really speeds up uh, the printing process. So what's going on? You, you got the price here. Best development in 3D printing? Yeah, yeah. We were Does that mean you're the coolest 3D printing technology in the world right now? Um, I think so. It, it, it makes, it makes uh, well, it's, it's an honor that we, we got it. We didn't think we, we as a small startup uh, we're, we're, we're going to get an award. Um, but but uh, it's really great to get the recognition. So that means it's the fastest 3D printer or what? Um, it's, it's the fastest uh, uh, extrusion system on the market uh, right now. Uh, what do you say, exclusion? Extrusion system. So, so it's, well, our core uh, business is um, developing the, the, the extrusion system. So everything that is, uh, is, is uh, uh, putting down the, 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 the plastic. Um, but for demonstration, we needed to build a, a printer that could handle all these speeds. Um, uh, so we, for this fair, we built uh, this uh, small printer. Because normally we work with much, much bigger printers. Um, but those are just not uh, very, 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 very nice to uh, um, take with you. They just don't fit in the van. You have big ones. Oh yeah, yeah. We have, we have much, much bigger. You have a picture ones. on your laptop? Um, no, not, not no? right there. So, no, I'm not on the internet. So you have right big now. one. It looks similar, but just bigger scale. They're just bigger, uh, bigger scale. Yeah. And so, can you stand up. So yeah. what, what is the uh, what's what's the status with your company? Are you selling? Um, well, we we we. At this event, we launched the, 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 the product. So we're uh, actually looking for uh, uh, 3D printer manufacturers that want to uh, implement this extrusion system into their printers. So you'll um, uh, sell the IP for how to do this? Uh, no, we don't sell the IP. We, we just produce the, the extrusion system and make it uh, fit their uh, 3D printers. So that means it only can take stuff out straight down, right? Is that how it works? Um, no, no. It's, Exclusion, it's, what does it mean? Well, it's, it's just that you take the plastic, this uh, plastic spool, you grab it with this, uh, um, uh, the feeder, um, and we do that in a completely different uh, way. Um, we use knives to cut in the, into the filament, um, which allows us to uh, extrude without any slip. Because within conventional systems, you always uh, have a small uh, amount of slip as a function of your back pressure, and it means that you're not putting down the material where you want to put it down. Uh, but we have no slip at all, so you always put down the material where, where and when you want it, and it makes uh, the reputability of your uh, objects uh, much, much greater. And our layer bonding is, is much stronger, um, and we do it at a much higher rate. Uh, so you, you let's say, uh, for example, this uh, um, stool we printed. It's Can about, you take uh, it up? Yeah, it's 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 about uh, 1.5 kilogram, and we printed it under uh, nine hours, uh, where normally a conventional printer would take about 30 to 40 hours to to print it. And it's a nice way to uh, have use of uh, the spools we, uh, we we have left over when Is we're it done strong? printing. It's real strong. It right. won't it won't work with my weight. It's real strong, as you can see. I can just move on it. Don't fall. It would get, bring more views, but don't do it. <laughs> and so you were here at the launch pad here, the ID Tech X show has just finished the show. How was the show for you? Uh, it, it, it was amazing. We uh, talked to a lot of uh, amazing people. The, 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 it, it, it was a blast. And uh, we got a lot of uh, traffic by our booth. Uh, well, thanks to the award too. But uh, people are just mesmerized by the speed of it. We are printing uh, stuff. Is this fast enough? This can is you do faster? Um, we can do faster, but the oh. big problem right now is we don't have enough cooling. Back in our lab, we have compressed air to cool the, the prints. Ooh. Where does it get hot? Um, where? Well, it's, it's just the print, because you're putting down the molten plastic, and we're doing it so fast that we oh. do not dissipate the heat fast enough. So oh, yeah. 
Um, that's now the limiting factor. Else we could go, uh, I think, even uh, about 50% faster than 50 that we're times the, 50 percent. Okay. Yeah, not 50 times. But that would be cool. Yeah, yeah, and we're, and we're we're working right now on a, a, a new version of this uh, uh, system, and that will be uh, able to do 250 cubic millimeters a second, and also do multicolor material or multi-materials um, because it will have uh, three different uh, filament strands. Uh, so you said 250. Per two, second? Cu 250 cubic millimeters a second. And now so you that's, are at? Uh, 130. So you're going to double it? We're going to double it. Which is, that means the chair is going to be in four hours and a half? Yeah. And then how do you get down to like half an hour? Uh, are, you, are you the ones that will be probably making the fastest 3D printer? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think for, for the FDM market, yes, we're, we're going to be the FDM? The, the, the FDM is fused deposition modeling. So that's okay. the uh, plastic printers you, uh, yeah. you, you Which you, is like you, all the 3D printers, many of them are yeah. like this, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the, let's say, the simplest technique. Uh, and it's also, uh, uh, fun fact, the only printing technique that will work in space. Because all the other printing techniques like SLA and SLS need gravity to, to, to work. The FDM printing technique is, is actually uh, um, um, working better without gravity. So Elon Musk is going to be a customer. I'm 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 hoping he's that, 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 that well I'm hoping that he's, he one mm -hmm. day he's going to take one of our printers up, uh, up to Mars. Um, because it's because very he's actually important well, he's, to he, build the city on Mars. We need one of those. Oh no no definitely to to, to have uh, spare parts and stuff like that. Uh, Hopefully they have the materials on Mars to create these things. Oh yeah, or they just bring it. Because it's much easier just to bring some of uh, this, this plastic than actually already have the, the fully formed products. Yeah. Um, so you, you are much more efficient well, we in your space. We need to build with what they have, right, on Mars? Uh, is this yeah, one no, of the examples of what you... Yeah, this is uh, one of the examples. This is a uh, Benchy. It's like the benchmarking uh, model for uh, 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 FDM 3D printing. And this is about a kilogram, and we did it uh, under five hours. So it's uh, real fast, and as you can see, it's... it's, it's um, uh, quite, quite good uh, quality. What is this? Oh, this is uh, the actual feeder mechanism that's uh, on there. So it's a fast one? Uh, yeah, 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 it's a real fast one. And as you can see we, here, we have the knives that cut into the filament, which makes our extrusion system so, so much more faster and reliable. Um, but we also, it, it works in combination with the hot end we've developed, which uh, can just uh, heat the uh, melt the plastic m so much more efficient than uh, conventional uh, hot end. So the, the the plastic cable goes down. Yeah, it, it goes gets down. Cut. It, go, uh, it it gets partially cut, then put through this uh, tube. We measure the pressure that's in the system and adjust accordingly our printer settings so that we always have the best uh, uh, quality and the best layer bonding uh, for that specific job. Um, and then it uh, gets molten inside of this uh, uh, hot end, and then we have this shitload of, uh, of fans that nice. we need to cool down the uh, plastic because. Uh, uh, oh, you have a bunch of fans. Then. Well, yeah, it's it's oh, we have eight, fans? eight eight fans. They're they're just uh, s simple Chinese fans. Um, yeah. But this is not a simple Chinese printer. Um, it's it looks maybe not it doesn't look as simple, but it's it's it's. Um, so how big is the company? Um, we uh, are currently with four people. We just started... Uh, you have lots of 3D printer experience? Uh, well, I started 10 years ago uh, with 3D printing. And to do what? That, um, well, just uh, I was a mechanical engineering student and I wanted to print some of my, my ideas uh, because uh, I thought it, it, it's gonna, gonna help me uh, in the iterative process so of designing things. So you lots of 3D printers? I've, I've used a lot of 3D printers. I've built a lot of 3D printers, but I, I just noticed that, the, um, that it was a really big hassle back in the day, even now, to, to get uh, a reliable sy system. So I think five years ago, I started thinking up new ways of uh, putting through the filament, having new ways of feeding the, the filament through your machine. Um, and l let's say three years ago, I um, actually dropped out of university and started uh, making money um, with 3D printing. You went 3D printing university? Um, well, I actually What's at the mo uh, 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 actually at the moment I'm uh, actually giving guest lectures in 3D printing uh, at this university. At, 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 at this university. Is it not the 3D printer university? No, no, it's just a technical university. Technical. But maybe one day I'm gonna. Uh, uh, it's yeah. a small dream of mine to 
um, get a, a faculty or a whole university specialized in 3D printing because I think it's, it's, it's an amazing technology and you can teach people how to work with it, it's going to change the future. Really? Yeah. Because uh, don't you want to have ultimate uh, 3D printing needs to be... You, you're doing fastest one, but you want it to be 10 times faster, right? And then you want to be able to do electronics in there and everything. How's that going to work? Um, well, the, uh, eventually you want to combine uh, th these F FDM or 3D printing technologies with like some other, um, well, we've seen that in this fair, uh, pick and place machines or printed electronics. Um, and just have, let's say, you design an object with the electronics already in it and you just press the button to start printing and at the end of it you have like a cool new uh, stereo sound system or something. Is that, that happening? Uh, it's gonna happen. But how soon? Uh, I think uh, give it uh, 10 to 15 years and uh, we'll time. have it. It's, it's a short time. All right, okay, short. Short. Okay, cool. All right, but uh, thanks a lot. So next uh, you're doing double the speed? And, we're, we're, uh, gonna where are you based? The, the, uh, we're based in the Netherlands. Uh, we're having an uh, office in uh, Rotterdam. So if you, if, if any one of your viewers is there, they're more than welcome to drop by and uh, check out our uh, awesome printers, especially nice. the big ones. And you'll have this on display also. Uh, well, the we're, price. We're gonna print a nice cabinet uh, yeah. for the price because it's the first award we won. But of course, we're expecting more. All right. What's the next award you want to have? Like an Oscar or what? Um, no, it's it's. I don't know. I actually. After this video, maybe. Maybe after this video, we'll, we'll okay. also get an Oscar or something. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. No, thank you.